Now to our other big story this afternoon. A charge has been filed against a veteran Grand Rapids police officer after an accidental shooting early last month. 13 on your side's Carla Byron's in the newsroom with details. Now this is Officer Gregory Bauer, who, according to Kent County Prosecuting Attorney Chris Becker, was Officer of the Year last year. He's being charged with a misdemeanor, careless discharge of a firearm, resulting in destruction of property under $50. The shooting happened on December 9th around 10.30 p.m. on the city's southeast side in the area of Cass Avenue and Sycamore Street. I interviewed Davion Smith, who said he was nearly hit in the head during this incident. The bullet struck Smith's father's apartment building. Police say Officer Bauer was running down a sloped area when he unintentionally discharged his gun. Smith's car matched the description of a stolen car that had been reported to have two firearms in it at the time of a theft and was believed to have been involved in more crimes. But it turns out Smith car, Smith's car was not the stolen car police were looking for. Becker explained the charge, saying this is not an assaultive case. Generally, in a, in a firearms and a gun case, you have assault with intent to do great bodily harm uh, or assault with intent to murder. Okay? You're trying to either hurt somebody or you're trying to kill somebody. And the key word there is intent. There is an intent to do one of those. There's not a shred of evidence in this case that there is an intent by the officer to do either of those things based on the facts and the body cameras and the reports that I reviewed. Smith's attorney, Steve Grimm, says he plans to file a civil suit against the officer and the city soon. We were contacted by the Michigan State Police. We sat down with them, told us, told them what happened. And uh, then, you know, we find out now that, uh, you know, charges are going to be filed against the officer, which will, for obvious reasons, have an impact on the potential civil lawsuit against the city. A spokesperson with the city says they have not received a civil suit and if and when they do receive a suit, they will respond accordingly. GRPD says they've cooperated throughout the investigation and will continue to do so. Officer Bauer is presumed innocent until proven guilty. If guilty, he could face 90 days in jail and a fine of $100. He continues to be on administrative leave as an internal investigation continues, Elena.